Clip Studio has a cool feature that records your drawing and produces a time-lapse video. Let's take a quick tour of this new feature. Hey, Walter here, doing what I can to make comics easier because it shouldn't be overwhelming or daunting to tell your story. I make videos about making comics, so make sure you hit subscribe if you're into that. Today, I'm going to be taking the new time-lapse feature of Clip Studio for a test drive. Time-lapse drawings are pretty popular on social media, but they can also be a drag to record and edit. Lucky for us, Clip Studio has added a new recording feature that makes it a lot easier to create this type of content. Let's walk through the process, how to use it, how it works, and then also some warnings that I have about it. First thing we do is we wanna create a new canvas. And with this, I already have a warning for you. Time-lapse is not automatic. You have to turn the feature on. This is the first place that you can do it is in the new file dialog window down in the bottom left corner. It's going to give you this warning about file size being larger because of the recording. And that is also my second warning, but I'll talk about that later. Once you check this box, it is going to stay checked and it won't give you the warning anymore. Even if you didn't click do not show again, I can create a whole bunch of new files and it will never say anything. So be careful that you don't always have this feature turned on unless you really do want to record everything. The reason you shouldn't record everything is because it really does cause the file size to bloat. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'll talk about that a little bit later. The other way to turn the time-lapse recording feature on or off if you change your mind is via the file menu, uh, then time-lapse and then start uh, recording. This is also where you can export the video, which is really easy to do. Just click it and it will pull up this export window. You'll get a preview of the time-lapse and a few different options. Length is how long the time-lapse should be. So it will try to cram the entire drawing into 15 or 30 seconds or all. Uh, no idea why it's called all or at what speed that's running at, if anything in particular. Uh, clip is recording your brush strokes and it's not recording time. So you could draw one stroke, wait 24 hours, draw another stroke, and your time lapse would end in under one second. The same amount of time as, as if you had just drawn the two line strokes one after the other. Being able to specifically make the videos 15 or 30 seconds long is great because those are good lengths for social media attention spans. You also have the choice size of 1280 pixels, which is the highest quality. As long as your canvas resolution is greater or equal to 1280 pixels. If your file is smaller than 1280 and you try to export 1280, it's going to look like poo. Unfortunately, you can't get any high-res 1080p or 4K resolutions even if your canvas is that large. So if you upload these to YouTube, they're going to look a little blurry like the one I'm showing you right now. But for Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, it should be good enough. Finally, you got the aspect ratio if you want the video to fit a certain specific size for your preferred social media platform. It will add the black bars for you if you didn't draw in the correct ratio for that platform. Now, a little warning about canvas size. If you have a large canvas and you're working on a very small section of that canvas, it's not gonna work great with the time-lapse feature. The reason being is that the time-lapse doesn't record all of your zooming and rotating or any view manipulation. Example, if you were in my studio standing over my shoulder right now, this is what you would see on my screen. Not capturing all of this movement is usually a good thing because all of this spinning and zooming in and out is a little hard to follow, but it is a problem if you have a really large canvas where you're zooming in and out a lot to see all of your detailed artwork. A real possible scenario for this is if you're drawing a webtoon and you have these really long vertical canvases, it's not gonna look great. I did a video detailing this new Webtoon feature for Clip Studio, so you can check out that video if you want more information on that. But you can see the Webtoon vertical layout doesn't really lend itself to the time-lapse recording and sharing, at least via the new Clip Studio time-lapse feature. You would need something like OBS or some type of screen recording software to do that. Okay, let's talk about my final warning, file size bloat. Time-lapse files are going to be substantially larger than non-time-lapse files. By the way, this is a test drawing I did of my Webtoon Ghost Bats. 
which you can read for free on Webtoon. The link is down in the description. Wink, wink. Uh, so this drawing took me about two hours from start to finish. Uh, contains around 12 layers and has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. If this was just a file with no time lapse at all, it would be around seven megs. However, with the time-lapse feature and the recording, the file is around 74 megs. And I have a pretty simple style. If you have a very complex illustration, the file size could increase quickly, which is why I warn against turning the record feature on for every file. But there is a workaround. Turning the time-lapse recording off is going to delete any recording data and leave you with a regular file size. So you could thumbnail and pencil your drawing, export the time lapse, turn the recording off, and then turn it back on. Now ink your drawing, export the time lapse for that, turn it off, turn it back on, etc., etc. All that being said, it doesn't seem to cause any extra strain on my computer's CPU or memory usage, which is really nice. The final cool thing, which I've mentioned already, is that the recording is a clean capture of art creation. You know, the brush strokes, the color, it doesn't capture all that stuff that is a little bit nauseating to people when they're watching your video. So that's the new time-lapse feature in Clip Studio, really perfect for social sharing and engagement. Uh, I've wanted a time-lapse feature in Clip Studio ever since Procreate came out because they have a really nice time-lapse and I'm really happy Clip Studio added it. Give it a try, share it around, and see if you can pull in some new fans of your work. If you've tried this feature, do you like it? Have you run into any problems or fixes? Let us know in the comments. And do you want to help support this video? Then check out my new Kofi page. Throw me a buck so I can get some tasty coffee. And for the curious, because I know everyone wants to know, my go-to coffee is a Starbucks Venti Caramel Macchiato with two extra shots, two pumps of vanilla, and a light caramel drizzle. So if you want a tasty beverage, give that one a try. And if you want to keep making comics easier with or without coffee, be sure to like, link, love, hug, and hit that sub button for more sweet, sweet goodness. Share this video everywhere. Peace.